So right now, do you love your discontinued tour, your development, everything you just experienced this year so far? You said with a short answer, <laughs> um, that's pretty difficult. Um, the short answer is probably yes and no. Whenever I was near him on the bike, uh, going up solar, the crowds went totally wild. It was really emotional, he deserves it. He's one of the most loved athletes, not just German athlete, Germany, but throughout the world. You know, I had a script for this, this last year, and I had a script for this race. And a lot of things in my sporting career went according to my script. When uh, I started the sport. I had the dream of becoming a world champion, becoming one of the, the best guys in the, in the sport. My life played according to my script. I would say mission accomplished. For this very last year, I also had a script. <laughs> um, a lot of things did not went according to the script. I think a lot of the things that I had in my script didn't work out. Um, I was always close, but always something happened. And this was the case for the very last race in Ross as well. Since I was a little kid When the voices down deep inside Kept calling my name, couldn't be denied Through the wrong down the road Felt the fire burning in my soul Aus Deutschland, sein letzter großer Tanz Der Titelträger hier in Rot 1 und auch Weltmeister Aus Deutschland, Sebastian Kiegler I raced with guys like Norman and Chris McCormick in the biggest races. And then I raced with the absolute top guys in, of the next generation, like Magnus, um, Gustav Eden, Christian Blumenfeld. That definitely meant a lot to me to be uh, in that race. And yeah, I mean, at the end on the result list, I was not, <laughs> I was not up, up there, but I knew that I still would have been able to, to be in the mix. I mean, not for the win, for sure not, but still be up there competing with the, with the best. And yeah, um, that, that meant a lot to me. Yeah. 
It's even good that I'm not, you know, winning these races. If I, I mean, I could have said like, yeah, this is so great. Um, if I just could have won Challenge Ross, you know. Um, but I think then I would have not been able to retire. Now I see like I have no chance against guys like, like Magnus anymore, you know. Um, and with the result I had in Kona, it was still somewhere back in my mind that I'm still up there and that I could still, I mean, probably not win Kona, but still make the podium. But now, with these races I had and the preparation I had and everything, I realized that I'm not able to, um, to put myself through this anymore. Last couple of um, uh, kilometers, I realized that this is another step towards the end of my career, and probably the biggest step towards the end of my career, and also the one that meant the most to me. I mean, the whole year I was always focused on the next race, focused on the big highlights, and I still have a couple of races, but for me, and I think for most of the other people, that was pretty much it, you know. I mean, the biggest stage I could have imagined for my very, for my last big race, not just on home soil, but in general, the last big race I, I've done in the sport. And even if the things definitely not went according to script, um, they were good, you know. It was still a happy end. <laughs> I promised myself I would not I would not lose control. I'm not looking at you, Laura, I'm not gonna look. I mean this man, I oh what can I say? Oh absolute superstar. Yep, and even Felix Bosseffer down bowing to one of the greatest athletes that's ever come out of Germany, one of the greatest long distance athletes we've ever seen. Not just an incredible human being when it comes to racing, but incredible human being in general. There you go, even Jan Fredino down on his knees. Oh, look at that. Three of the greatest athletes to come out of Germany. Jan Fredino, Patrick Lange, and Sebastian Kinlan. Just incredible scenes here in Roth, in the stadium. And this is going to be a collector's item, this photo. It certainly is, isn't it? Look at that. Look at wow. that. When I walked back to my homestay after I finished um, in Ross, um, I caught myself thinking, uh, uh, what do I have to do next year to, to be able to, to beat uh, guys like Magnus and, uh, and uh, Gustav and how, what, what screws can I turn, what stones can I, uh, can I uh, um, turn around and, uh, and find another half a percent here and there. <laughs> and then I realized, ah, uh, <laughs> you don't have to anymore, it's, it's fine. So this was actually really a relief, to be honest. In the past it was always a motivation like to push harder, to find another gear, and uh, now I'm like, I'm happy that I don't have to. Herzinfarkt, heart attack. Wow. That's the reason why you're a proud uh, Red Bull athlete.
that's one of the things during your career, you know, your sponsors, they are not sponsors anymore, they are like true friends. Yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> Time to fly. Oh, geil. I'm really thankful for for Felix and and the whole and the whole crew what they what they did to me and uh, for me and um, yeah I, I mean on on a weekend like that it's at one point it's just like you have this emotional overflow almost you know um, there's so much it's so intense it's uh, it's difficult to to really. Uh, Digest that all. Sebastian Kiene! Sebi, schau mal, dein Publikum will sich verabschieden hier in Rhodes und wir genießen auch mal die Atmosphäre. Der Mann hat es verdient, eine Legende. Sebastian Kiene! You never can, you know, press rewind on, on, your, on, your, on your life, but there's enough, you know, I have this video and that's a, the the cool thing is that I can, you know, just watch it and go through it again, and that's uh, that's a pretty nice thing. Yeah. So then I can give myself the the time to really uh, um, enjoy it and digest it. Now is the time. There's no 